Um, distinguished guests, esteemed friends, ladies and gentlemen, and my newly extended families, uncles, aunties, and cousins, a big welcome to you. As the executive director of Affinity Intercultural Foundation, I would like to thank each and every one of you uh, for joining us for today's luncheon. Your presence, uh, attendance, and questions have made uh, this program very rewarding. We have a lot of fantastic people in attendance here today. At Affinity, we aim to provide and facilitate an open forum where we can bring members of the community together to discuss issues that affect us and allow a diverse range of voices to share their thoughts and idea ideas like today. I would like to sincerely thank Dr. Serb Ozdowski for his insightful address, and I'm grateful he accepted our invitation to speak today. His topic was very relevant for all of us who are uh, living in a multicultural Australia, touching on the topic of reclaiming Australian multiculturalism policy and practice in shifting landscape, which is important as policy and practice in a changing time and circumstance as Dr. Sevozdowski mentioned that, is one of the core values and parameters of Australian society. We as Affinity are proud of Dr. Sevozdowski since he is one of our distinguished advisory board member like other notable members. At Affinity, we consider that every industry, organization, and individual can and must play a positive role in society. Dr. Ozdowski's address gave us insight into the ways in which we can promote multiculturalism in Australia and appeared to, be, uh, appeared to the whole world as an example in challenging times. I am sure today's speech will broaden our horizons, allowing us to think new and unique ways of addressing this particular issue in our own so uh, social circles. I'd like to also thank Kath DeWire for her fantastic work moderating today's program. I would, uh, I would like to extend a sincere thank you and would like to call upon Pauline Wright, president of the Law Society of New South Wales, to present a small gift on behalf of Affinity as a token of our uh, uh, appreciation. This gift from my uncle shop. Please gift. <laughs> from Pauline. Yes, Pauline. And lastly, I have not forgetting our uh, honored new advisory board member, John Cleary. And I sincerely thank John for his support at Affinity's projects, helping us grow and bringing us closer to our aim of social harmony in Australia. I think mainly media or Sunday night. I love that. We, going, we are missing him. I believe John is a valuable asset of Australia in regards to building bridges between faiths and interfaith groups. His experience is invaluable. I would like to kindly call upon Dr. Sev Ozdowski, I'm going to call cousin Dr. Sev Ozdowski, to <laughs> present a humble gift to Uncle John. <laughs> Love the Before finishing the program, I would like to announce and invite you all to attend Affinity's upcoming events. In May, it's, to be honest with you, very busy. Affinity is proud to partner with, uh, with the United States Consulate General Sydney to bring this masterclass series to your attention. The masterclass series is brought to us by the US Consulate General and focus on contemporary issues in Australia and America. For more information about past and upcoming events, please visit the Consulate's youth page. So Affinity is the event partner for this event with the United States Consulate General Sydney, hosting two distinguished young Muslims, Amna, Ka Amna Karasan and Osman Fariku, who will take, uh, talk about contemporary Muslim voice in multicultural Australia on Thursday evening, uh, May 4th, between 6 to 8 p.m. here. You yeah, are more than welcome. We are also holding another special joint program with the Australian Institute of International Affairs, AIIA, on Tuesday, 9th of May, between 6 and 8 p.m. at the Glover Cottage. 
my uncle uh, Richard uh, Bronowski, the president, cousin, thank you, Richard. <laughs> The president of the Australian Institute of International Affairs is with us here today. I think if you uh, follow up their webpage and visit their webpage, and then please uh, reserve your seat. It's a remarkable program coming towards your attention. The speaker will be Professor Greg Barton from Deakin University. He will be presenting on the topic title, What on Earth Has Gone So Wrong in Turkey? And I think you are uh, welcome to attend the program. Another spe special auspicious event in May, our sister organization in Melbourne, the Australian Intercultural Society, I came from Melbourne, cordially invites everyone to attend third annual International Festival of Language and Culture at the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Center. Some of you saw and attended IFLC on the 17th of April in 2016 at the Sydney Opera House, affinity organized with Amity College. This celebration of glo global fellowship will be held again at the Melbourne Convention and uh, Convention Exhibition Center on Sunday, 14th of May, between 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. This event is co-hosted by Sirius College. The inaugural festival in 2015 attracted a crowd of over 4,300 guests in Melbourne. Last year, the IFSC was held at the Sydney Opera House in front of uh, a sellout crowd. And next year coming IFS in Sydney 2018, we will organize the program with your contribution. Finally, 2017 Ramadan will begin around 27th May and Affinity will continue to host many iftar dinners like previous years. I'd like to announce uh, some, of t uh, some of them and invite you and your guest, your partner, your colleague, your cousins, your aunties, please, to our Ramadan programs. Yes, as you see these programs, one of them is Optus Iftar, another one Building Harmony Iftar with Uniting Church in Australia, New South West Parliament Friendship Dialogue Iftar, Community Leaders Iftar Dinner with Wollongong University, Education Leaders Iftar with Amity College, College and Home Iftar. So there are lots of Iftars coming up, please, Follow of Affinity, not to me. Thank you. As you can see here at Affinity, which is a small and humble institution, we have been working very hard to invite great speakers and facilitators to join us at our monthly lecture series. And Affinity is trying to become a part of projects in Sydney to support diversity, democracy, and the, and the philosophy of living together, of course. The motivation to continue doing so comes from our, our values and motto regarding hope, uh, love, respect, and universal human values in accordance with the rule of law. I must say that our advisory board has been instrumental in motivating us to think in this way. I would like to conclude my speech with a quote of Mr. Thinker, uh, Mr. Fethullah Gülen says, even if we have a different thoughts we all belong to the same society. We all live in this world and we are passengers of the same ship. In respect to this, we share many common values. Again, a big thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you all on future occasion. Thank you so much.